Hey, this is Miss Santy, and um, ignore the mess in the back of me. This is my studio in the basement. I'm cleaning it. However, what we're going to talk about today is holding your camera. And if you notice, this is my left hand here. So I hold it underneath the lens like this. This does a couple different things. First of all, it's sort of a tripod hold. It's a more sturdier hold. It's a sturdier hold, and it's more secure for your camera. It also cuts down a lot on your camera shake. And you can also go and use your fingers to change your telephoto and your focus. You don't have to um, move your hands too much. If you do a manual focus, manual telephoto, and also if you do a manual camera and you have your f-stops, your f-stops would be here, you would change it that way. All right, so, it, so holding it with your left hand like this, it does several things. If you're left-handed, then that would be your right hand doing this, and, and you would just switch it around or get used to doing it. All right, holding your camera like this is not very sturdy, and it goes and it causes a lot of camera shake, okay? So you do want to get used to holding it this way. This hand here helps just to steady it, and it, you use it to change your controls up here. So if you're using f-stops and digital cameras, a lot of them are through here, and here's my button for um, snapping my pictures, so I can do that. Now, if you notice, this is horizontal, so it's like that right here's your square thing or your rectangular um, picture and so everything's going to be crossways like um, like a landscape all right if you want to do a portrait hold you're going to turn it sideways so and to show you that better I do it that way you can see because this is a rectangle it's going to be longer up and down so that means you're going to get more of the body in the shot and you're also going to um, get a better, um, you're going to get better, just better in general for anything that's tall. You want to turn it sideways. You want to turn your camera sideways and get it that way. All right. Um, the other thing is what you just saw me do is I go and my strap, I, I'm used to rolling it around my hand because that's what I was taught in the military. And if I drop it, it's going to be like that. All right. You always want to have your strap either around your hand or on your neck. So if you do drop it, it's not going to go anywhere and the damages are going to be much less. So that's how holding does your landscape and photography hold and supporting your camera. The other thing you want to do to decrease camera shake is pull your elbows into your body as far as you can. And when you snap your picture, you're going to hold your breath. So if anybody goes hunting, it's like shooting a gun. If you go and if you don't hold your breath, your bolt's going to go off everywhere. So when you actually squeeze your trigger, so when you squeeze your button to uh, take your photograph, you're going to actually hold your breath. So that's going to minimize your camera shake and you get, get much more focused um, and sharper pictures. If you're noticing that a lot of your pictures are coming out a little bit um, shaky or out of focus, even just slight focus is probably camera shake. So that's the first thing you want to get rid of is your camera shake. And the other thing is get used to holding your camera in the ways you should be. I've seen kids do this. It's really awkward and it's not as sturdy as this way. All right. Or this way. So find what works the best for you. But um, if you're going to practice, start practicing these holds because they're going to be the best ones for you to learn.